High school basketball is in full swing, and we have highlights from across the area. Wall and Jim Ned battled in a top 10 showdown. TLCA and Miles were also in action. And to add to all that, we have highlights from the Oak Creek Classic out in Blackwell. It was a slow week for Angelo State, but both the Rams and Bells still made headlines. All that and more tonight. Season pass starts right now. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley Kia. Welcome everyone to Season Pass, the mid-season finale, by the way, the final episode of the decade. It's crazy how far this show has come. We're taking a two-week break after tonight for the winter holidays. As always, we have a ton to cover tonight from a variety of sports. We have news from high school football, student athletes signings, basketball highlights, and much more. So let's get right to it, starting with high school football. District 4-3A, Division 2, as we know it, probably won't be the same when the UIL announces realignment in February. But last Tuesday, for what could be the final time, two Ballinger Bearcats headlined the district superlatives. Linebacker Cooper Bean earned defense. MVP this season Bean led the Bearcats in tackles with 113 and solo tackles with 60. He also forced six fumbles and recovered four. Bean was also a factor on offense and that was in large part to his offensive line and because of that Junior lineman Adam Wind was named the district's lineman MVP. This season, the Bearcats racked up 3,986 total yards of offense and scored 49 touchdowns. The Wall Hawks were also in the spotlight awards. The Hawks had their season come to an end in the regional semifinals against Pilot Point, but it doesn't take away from the fact that they were dominant in 2019. That was in large part to their stellar defensive play that allowed just under 11 points per game. So it was no surprise that the Hawks cleaned up Thursday when the all-district honors were announced. Senior defensive end Joe Walker was named the District 3-3A defensive MVP. The Hawks overall had five players who made all-district first-team defense on the offensive side of the ball. Junior Kyle Herbert was tabbed the district's co-utility player of the year and Houston guy and his assistants earned staff of the year. The Hawks also had 11 players who made second team all district. The Sterling City Eagles were also dominant this season and if it weren't for being paired with state semifinalist Rankin in the first round of the playoffs, who knows how far they could have gone. The District 8-1A Division I honors were released last Thursday. The Eagles had plenty of representation in those awards. Chance Ferguson was tabbed the district's defensive MVP while Francisco Gonzalez took home newcomer of the year. Overall, the Eagles had eight players who earned first team honors and five who were named second team all district. This season, the Eagles finished with a 9-2 record and were ranked for a majority of the season. It's always good. It's always a good time in Wall when they can reminisce on their 2019 state title. And why not? Hawk Nation got a chance to do that again as Caleb Hewitt signed his letter of intent to continue his baseball career. Hewitt will be attending Midland College next year where he'll be used as a pitcher and a middle infielder. He's the fifth player from that 2019 state champion team to sign a letter of intent. He'll join his teammate Luke Young at Midland College. In fact, the two are going to be rooming together. That's pretty special. Uh, getting to go there with him is awesome, and we're actually going to be roommates when we go up there, so that'll be even better. I'm really excited. It was kind of overwhelming, I guess, seeing I didn't think this many people would come here, so I don't really like doing public stuff, but it, was, it felt good to finally write my name on that paper. I hope we win another state championship this year, but if it doesn't happen, I mean, I'll have somewhere else to go play and then hopefully further my baseball career from there. The winter holidays are here, which means the high school soccer season is also right around the corner. Both Lakeview and Central took the field yesterday for the first scrimmages of the season. Starting with the Lakeview Chiefs, they scrimmaged Lebick Cooper in Midland Lee Saturday afternoon. The Chiefs fell to Cooper 5-0 to in the first scrimmage and then lost to Midland Lee 5-1. to Lakeview is coming off a dominant 2018-19 campaign that not only saw a District 4 for a title, but also their first playoff win since 2014. The Chiefs finished 9-9 overall, 5-1 and in District play. Lakeview won its last seven games before falling to Clint in the regional quarterfinals. The team also graduated nine seniors, so we'll see who steps up to fill those holes. The Chiefs start their season on January 3rd on the road against the Odessa High Broncos. Central, on the other hand, is looking to put last season to rest 
They took the pitch yesterday for scrimmages against Odessa High and Midland Lee. The Bobcats fell to Odessa High 1 to 0, but then bounced back against Midland Lee, defeating the Rebels 2 to 1. Bobcats finished fifth in District 3 6A last season with a 2 8 and 2 district record, 4 13 and 3 overall. Central graduated eight seniors in May. However, they are returning Jacob Little, who nabbed Defensive Newcomer of the Year honors last season. It was named to the 2019 All District team. The Bobcats kick off their regular season. Season on January 2nd against Tascosa in the GCISD tournament. Can't wait for baseball season next month, but hey, it's also basketball season. We have highlights from a handful of games next on. ARG has specialty products like business cards, hats, mugs, and pins. But that's not all. ARG has more than 80,000 products to choose from, and all with your logo on it. Like paperweights, lanyards, sunglasses, business cards, license plates, backpacks, notebooks, logbooks, mouse pads, frisbees, beach balls, tape measures, stuffed animals, buttons, flashlights, flip-flops, snow globes. <clears throat> Did I mention business cards? I could keep going, but with over 80,000 products, I'm running out of time. Go to ARGproducts.com and see all that they have to offer. Or call 916-756-SWAG. I have something for you. Hi. <laughs> I have something for you, too. It's the GMC Denali season to upgrade. Get over 14,000 total value on this next generation Sierra Denali. Visit Mitchell View with GMC in San Angelo. Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $12,900 on this Silverado Texas edition. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. Unlimited Air will say thank you to our customers and to better serve you, we are now your indoor air quality specialist. Unlimited Air can do your home indoor air inspections with state-of-the-art video cameras. Unlimited Air can clean your AC and heating ductwork. Unlimited Air can help with odors in your home by sanitizing and deodorizing your AC and heating system. Unlimited Air can clean your dryer vents. So, how is the air quality in your home? And remember, at Unlimited Air, it's all about the service. Welcome back to Season Pass. Several Concha Valley basketball teams took the hardwood Tuesday night, so let's roll through them rapid-fire style. The ninth-ranked Wall Lady Hawks taking on the third-ranked Jim Ned Lady Indians third quarter. Jim Ned up 13. Brooke Galvin swims past the Wall defenders and gets the layup in. Lady Indians up by 15 points. Then Claire Graham finds Ashton Gardner on the inbounds pass. She banks it off the glass and in. Jim Ned continuing to build its lead fourth quarter. Wall trying to mount some kind of momentum. Kylie Phillips comes away with the steal. She finishes on the other end. The Lady Hawks trail by only eight, but Jim Ned would hold on here. Claire Graham to Alexis Espinosa, and the Lady Indians take it 50 to 33. Out to Miles, where the Lady Bulldogs hosted TLCA first quarter. Lady Eagles having to play catch up. Carly Bucks drills the three. That made it 19 to 5 miles. The Lady Bulldogs led by 21 at the half, and they would cruise in the fourth quarter. Alexis Schwartner picks the pocket and finds Ticey Lang under the basket for the easy point. She gets the basket to fall. And then later, Lang, she's going to go coast to coast for the bucket and get that one to fall with contact. Lang finished with 18 points, while Reagan Smithwick finished with a game high. 22 for the Lady Bulldogs. Miles picks up the win over TLCA 53 to 24. Over to Lakeview, the Maidens hosting early, down by 10, entering the fourth quarter. This will help. Jordan Pickney forces the steal, and she finishes it on the other end. Maidens trail by only seven, but early responded very quickly. Kerrigan Norris, she gets the outlet pass and hits the jumper off the fast break. We'll see more of her. Well, actually, right now, Norris again, this time driving to the basket, gets the easy layup to fall early. Back up by double digits. The Maidens would make it interesting, though. Down seven, Alasia Kopichina forces her way to the basket, making it a five point game. But the Maidens couldn't complete the comeback. They fall 40 to 35. 
Cristoval on the road taking on Water Valley. The Lady Cougars coming off that win in the Miles Ribs Tournament Championship. Close one late in the fourth. The shot by Emery Sears misses, but Callista Mitten Holland is there for the putback and the foul. Water Valley trails by three, but watch this. After a scramble for the rebound, Cristoval's Allison Vaughn comes away with it and gets the layup to ice the game. Cristoval will just dribble it out to end it, and they get the win over Water Valley 43 to 37. Over to the boys' side of things. Central on the road at Abilene Wiley. The Bulldogs got things cookie, cooking early first quarter. Peyton Brooks drills the three. Wiley leading by three. And then Avery Breck powering his way in the paint. Gets the bucket. Abilene Wiley would just run away with this thing. Not a good start to the season for Central. Wiley passes it around back to Breck who knocks it in. The Bulldogs open the game on a 12-4 run. Still in the first, Noah Gideon drives, dishes it to Christopher Jackson. He drills the three. Bobcats down by seven, and Wiley would go on to beat Central 47-38, the final score. Let's go to Lakeview. Chiefs hosting Brownwood. The Lions got off to a hot start. First quarter, A.J. McCarty misses the floater, but Zach Strong gets the board and the putback. And then the following Lions possession, Strong putting in work on the boards again, gets another putback. Lions increase their lead to four, but here come the Chiefs. Jesse Greer with the easy layup off the fast break. The Chiefs then followed that up with a missed three by Greer, but Ryan Avalos gets the rebound and the bucket. A lot of putbacks in this one, as you can see. The Chiefs down by Four, but Lakeview, they weren't able to complete the comeback. Brownwood takes it 70 to 54. TLCA boys on the road at Miles. This thing was all Eagles early on. Javron Everett gets the steal and finishes with the easy lay in. TLCA started the game on a 12 0 run. Still, first quarter, Everett. Again, he's going to beat his man off the dribble and hits the slick Euro step. That puts the Eagles up 14 to 4. Everett with 13 first half points, but Miles would settle in. Shelton Petrie gets the block on Everett. Check out this sequence. David Martinez, the outlet to Carson Ellison, and he puts it in defense into offense, folks. But TLCA gets the win in this one 56 to 42. Back over to Water Valley. The boys, Cristobal, take it on Water Valley. Water Valley got things going early. They go down low to jo Josia Padilla, who gets the lay in to fall. Water Valley leads early on, but Cristobal would go on a run right here. Josh Fava, he's going to poke the ball away and go coast to coast, one end of the court to the other for the layup. And then the next possession, they push to the freshman, Jaron Slayton, who's going to bank it in off the glass. That run forced Water Valley to call a timeout as Cristobal storms past Water Valley. The Cougars win by 46, count it, 46 points. Cristobal beats Water Valley 69-23. to so at the top of the block, we saw ninth-ranked Wall fall to number three, Jim Ned. But Wall was back in business Friday as they hosted 5A foe Abilene Wiley. And the Lady Bulldogs beat Jim Ned the week of Thanksgiving. So how would the Lady Hawks fare against Wiley? We'll, we'll go ahead and see that. Fourth quarter, Wall leading, trying to close it out. Cameron Williams is shot just off the mark, but Candace Welch is there to clean it up. Wall leads 40-25. to 25. Next Wiley possession, they had to swing it around town, making Lee Bacon, who drains the three point shot. Wiley trying to stick around, but Wall's offense was too good in the paint. Watch this. Shaley Schiller gets it to Lauren Pepper, who fights through the contact to get the layup. Wall gets the bounce back win, 53-35. to 35. Thanks for sticking with me through all of that. A lot of high school basketball this week and still more to come. We have tournament action from the Oak Creek Classic as well as some other tournaments from around the Concho Valley. We also have final scores from some other teams. Stay with us. Surprise! A new Buick? To James from James. Hey, is this a new Buick? I secret santa myself. I shouldn't have. But I have been very good this year. I love it. I love it. Don't forget you this holiday season. Get just over 7,600 below MSRP on this 2019 Buick Enclave Avenir. Plus, Texas residents receive an additional 1,000 purchase allowance. Visit Mitchell Buick GMC in San Angelo. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. 
This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $12,900 on this Silverado Texas edition. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. Sales is now offering West Texas short and long-term residential storage. Our brand new high-quality containers can be utilized for any of your storage needs. Our professional staff will ensure your unit is up to standards, and when you're ready, we'll be there to pick it up. If you're doing housing renovations, moving across town, or just need some extra space, we can provide you with an on-site solution. You can even store your unit at our facility if you need extra time. For more information, call, visit us in person, or check us out online at ProLineRentals.com. Welcome back to Season Pass. The beginning of the high school basketball season is always packed with pre-district tournaments. And this week we have highlights from the Oak Creek Classic in Blackwell. We'll start with day one of the Blackwell Tournament. Last Thursday, the Sterling City Boys taking on Lorraine fourth quarter. Two minutes left. Eagles only up by two. Michael McGuire with a nice feed to Quentin McMillan for the easy points. Eagles up four. Then the Eagles defense stepped up when they needed to, forcing the pass out of bounds. Sterling City generating turnovers as they take the win 42 to 32. More day one action. The Paint Rock girls taking on Lorraine first quarter after a slow start by both teams. Plumley finds Ponce. She drills the three using the glass off the backboard. Maidens increase their lead to four, but Lorraine caught fire towards the end of the quarter. Sarah LeBaron knocking down the three. That cuts the Maidens lead to just one. And then LeBaron, she's going to dish it off to Claudia Cabrera, who drills the jumper. Lady Bulldogs up one. And right before the end of the quarter, Raylon Walthrall. Hits another three for the Lady Dogs, capping off an 8-0 run, but the Maidens would fight back to take the win, 29-17. to Day two action now. Number 14, Blackwell taking on Cornerstone Christian. Pick it up in the third quarter. Lady Hornets up 26-11. to Darian Kinney misses the long two, but Emily Sanderson cleans it up with the putback. Lady Lions trying to close the gap. Piper Bowden with the floater, and it rattles in. A nice move from her, really, but the Lady Lions were having to play catch-up, and it's because of plays like this late in the quarter. Madison Solis with the steal for Blackwell. Goes the other way, fakes out her defender and knocks it down. Blackwell extends their lead to 20. They go on to take it 48 to 20 the final score so how did it finish the oak creek classic that is well both blackwell the lady hornets and the hornets made it to the championship games of the oak creek classic the number 15 lady hornets defeating lakeview 47 to 20 to win the girls title then the blackwell boys edging out hermley 56 to 50 for the boys championship and then over to the coleman blue cat classic we'll zoom through these really quickly the cristoval lady cougars lost to abilene cooper in the tournament tournament semifinals 45 to 33 so bring on that third place match and that's when Cristobal bounced back. The Lady Cougars defeat number six Rock Springs out of class 1A, 51 to 37 to capture third at the Sonora Bank and Trust Tournament. And then going over to the championship game of the girls, Ballinger. They beat Miles in stunning fashion, a game-winning three at the buzzer, 33 to 31. Gotta love basketball season. Gotta love Angela State Athletics as well. Unfortunately, no programs in action last week, but we still have the latest news. Don't go anywhere. Season pass. We'll be right back. All hail the presidential portable restroom. Air-conditioned spaces, TV sets, fireplaces, and AM FM stations. You have to have one when you don't need one if you expect to have one when you do. And it's better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one. Back those halls, trim those trees. gift you really want is at Nissan's year-end event. Get holiday savings on our tech-filled lineup, like Rogue or Altima, both with available Safety Shield 360. Hurry in. Holiday offers end soon. Save up to $3,000 or get a low $229 per month lease on the 2020 Nissan Rogue. 
What do you think you're doing, Kevin? I uh, was just gonna drive home. Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, there are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. Like hearing voices? Like your text to emoji ratio? Oh, man, the selfies. Ah! Selfie nailed it. We all have warning signs that let us know that we're probably not okay to drive. Mine is pretending to be your subconscious. Craig, come on, man, let's put a ride home. Nobody puts Santa in the bargain bin. Nobody. The Ford F-150 has available best-in-class payload, and this sleigh is bringing the big man home. Ford, built for the holidays. Now during the Built for the Holidays sales event, get 20% estimated savings on the 2019 F-150. Plus, earn complimentary maintenance through Ford Pass Rewards. Only at your best in Texas Ford dealer. All hail the Presidential Portable Restroom. Air-conditioned spaces, TV sets, fireplaces, and AM FM stations. You have to have one when you don't need one if you expect to have one when you do. And it's better to have one and not need one than to need one and not have one. Welcome back to Season Pass. The Angelo State men's basketball team is getting some national attention in the Division II rankings. They haven't broken to the top 25 just yet. But they have been receiving votes for the last few weeks. The overtime loss to a ranked Dallas Baptist team shows that they can compete with the big dogs. Angelo State suffered its first loss of the season last weekend in an overtime thriller, 84 to 82 to Dallas Baptist. It was a back and forth game. DBU sprung out to a seven point lead before Angelo State clawed back to send it to overtime. And that's where ASU missed crucial opportunities to put the game away, more specifically at the free throw line. The Rams shot three for eight at the charity stripe, and it proved to be a difference maker. For Rams head coach Cinco Boone, the loss left a sour taste in his mouth. I'm disappointed. I'm frustrated. You know, uh, I thought we were a better team than Dallas Baptist on Saturday, and, and we missed a lot of free throws. And, you know, it's a game that uh, when it comes down to winning championships, you need to win your conference home games. Angelo State, now 6-1 and one overall, 2-1 and one in the Lone Star Conference, will have to sit on the loss to DBU until next week when the Rams battle the Midwestern State Mustangs on December 19th. Boone says the week break will give him and his his staff time to strategize lineups. You know, um, I'm still trying to figure out it when we play teams that play smaller lineups that play five out, who can I play at certain spots defensively? How can we adjust offensively? Uh, maybe with a bigger lineup, smaller lineup. And so it's just another opportunity, another week for us to watch tape and learn from that. Tip off from Wichita Falls is set for 7.30 p.m. For KLST Sports, I'm Ryan Reynolds. And no action from ASU last week, but they continue to rack in postseason awards. First, catcher Nick Saganowicz, All-American and now All-Canadian. The senior from British Columbia was named to the All-Canada baseball team. He finished fourth among Canadians in home runs and sixth in RBIs. In soccer, midfielder Avery McNamee was named to the third-team All-American list in Division II. Add that to a cornucopia of athletic and academic awards. And last but not least, Kaylin Gilbreth was given honorable mention in the Division II All-American list. The redshirt sophomore was also the LSC Offensive Player of the Year. Sundara Chin and Megan Parker were named honorable mentions. More awards. The Angelo State Bells swept the Lone Star Conference weekly awards for women's basketball last Monday. Senior Ford D. Moore was named the Offensive Player of the Week. Her 35 points helped lead the Bells past Tarleton State and Texas women's. She shot 53% from the field and 79% from the free throw line. She also added seven offensive rebounds. On the other side, freshman Sawyer Lloyd got her first weekly honors of her collegiate career, being named the Defensive Player of the Week. In the two weekend games, Lloyd recorded six defensive rebounds, seven steals, in two blocks, she also added 21 points in the Bells' two wins. ASU was off last week. They will return to action on Thursday against Midwestern State. Finding ending a season is never ending is never easy. Excuse me. Even if you've done it 24 times, like ASU volleyball head coach Chuck Waddington, the season ending for the Bells with a loss in the second round of the NCAA South Central Regional. The team finished 29 and 3, 17 and 1 in the LSC. They won their division in the first year, the expanded LSC, and took home the conference championship. What's even scarier? They're not going to drop. 
Well, this is my 24th year coaching, so it's never easy at any level. Um, it's the relationships. It's the kids that aren't going to be in the gym anymore, you know, the ones that are graduating and uh, moving on. So not, not seeing those kids every day, is that's the hard part. That's the hardest part every year, you know. Um, but then you, you come back in the spring and you got a, a fresh group, you know, a new group, you know, returners, but sometimes you get some transfers in there, and they're, these kids are eager to go. We've got seven kids that we signed in the fall, you know, that are coming in next year and they're they're loaded with talent so we're we're not we're not re uh rebuilding ever you know we've always reloaded and uh we we're trying to be in a position same position next year and maybe take another step one of those Angelo State volleyball players that graduated is Mackenzie Griffin. She played outside hitter for Angelo State the past two years. And on Friday, she announced via Twitter that she will exercise her fifth year of eligibility as a grad student and play beach volleyball for Cal State Long Beach, a Division I program out of the Big West Conference. The Jordanson native, like I said, played two seasons for the Bells as an outside hitter and registered a career-high 165 kills this past season. Griffin achieved her Bachelor of Arts in psychology on Saturday. She plans to pursue a master's in sports management and is excited to join another elite program in California. I think I'm excited about it playing at, at like a super elite level. Like Angelo was a really good high level team for D2 and like this school is a really good high level team as far as like beach volleyball goes. I really am so thankful for Angelo State because they just have like given me such good friends that I know that like I will continue to talk to. I just think like this season is just, just such a good way to go out. We've just won so much. Like that was such a cool experience. Like I've I've been on teams where we've like won, but it was never like ranked in the top fifteen or 34 Angelo State student-athletes walked the stage at the Janelle Center and received their degree. Just congrats to all you at student-athletes out there at ASU. Coming up on Season Pass, we announce our Player of the Week. Don't go anywhere. Two pure beef patties, three slices of melty cheese. Biggie cheese? Oh, yeah. Hey, man, do you need help getting out of that thing? Oh, yeah. Hey, here, me, um... I'm not even sure how I got in, man. Motor in for a Biggie cheese before they're gone. And order ahead to try happy hour anytime. <laughs> yes. Seriously, Santa? Here's something people can really use. It's a low payment finder from Consome Plus. We're going back to Black Friday at Consome Plus. Save up to 50% or more with back to Black Friday pricing on all Samsung QLED TVs and LG UHD TVs. Get the lowest prices of the season on all computers, laptops, gaming consoles, and more. Get back to Black Friday now through Christmas at Consome Plus. <laughs> This Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap is only 99 cents. And that's a wrap. Right, but you know the commercial's not over, right? And that's a car. Yep, very good. And that's a camera. Three for three, good job, buddy. That's a Fritos Chili Cheese Junior Wrap while they last. Order ahead for happy hour anytime. Welcome back to Season Pass. It's time now to announce our Player of the Week players. I should stay starting with the Cristobal Lady Cougars, Allison Vaughn. 20, Allison Vaughn's 20 points led Cristobal to a third-place finish at the Bank and Trust Tournament. Vaughn, along with teammate Callie Montalvo, were named to the all-tournament team in Sonora. Sterling Baker from Cristobal also deserves recognition for her play. 13 points and 9.4 rebounds per game. Very best Bella Hoffman also nabbed all-tournament honors as the Lady Falcons fell to Coleman in the Blue Cat Classic. Vaughn, Montalvo, Baker, and Hoffman, they all deserve credit. Your KLST Players of the Week. Player of the Week is sponsored by Southwest Pools and Spots. And that puts a wrap on Season Pass for the entire decade. We'll be back in three weeks. You can go ahead and check out all of our content on ContraValleyHomepage.com. Go ahead and download the Contra Valley Homepage app. We'll see you then. Happy Holidays and Happy New Year. Good night. Season Pass, sponsored by Kelly Grimsley-Kia.